Today, I'm sharing four must-have game dev extensions for Game Maker. I'm Hunter, the programmer here at WhaleSag Studio, and we're currently building an indie RPG that we've codenamed Project Salvation. Most of our videos so far have followed our personal dev journey, but this time we wanted to share some tools that have seriously changed the game for us. Pun definitely intended. And to be honest, I've scoured YouTube for videos like this and none are out here, so we thought this would be a helpful resource. Quick heads up, this isn't a deep dive tutorial on each extension or asset package, but I've dropped links in the description to the official documentation and some helpful YouTube tutorials to get you started. And just to be clear, none of this is sponsored. We just love these tools and want to pass them on. So without further ado, let's dive into the first one. This one is called Good Vibes. This one is by Mr. Daniel. I'm assuming is how you pronounce that. You can see it right here. This one is totally free and all it does is it adds vibration to your game pads and it's very simple, very easy to use. So here's an example in the code of the function. There's a few different arguments. You can get really advanced with it if you want, but just to be straightforward with it, you can do strength, duration, and uh, indicate the device. So an example of when you might want to do this is your player hurt function. So here we have a screen shake to go along with it. And then we're calling the vibrate. And what's cool is, you know, we're matching the strength and the duration and frames here. And what I noticed when I was playtesting is without the vibration on the gamepad, it feels so lifeless. But just simply adding in this one thing, it, it brings so much more life to your game. So this is free, it's really easy, and you'll get a lot out of it. The second one we're going to be talking about is GM Live, Game Maker Live by Yellow Afterlife. This one is about $30, which I know that can be a lot for some people but I think it is totally worth it. This extension will save you so much time. What it lets you do is make live edits so you don't have to compile all over again. And I'll just show you a quick example. Um, I have my game already running and I have this text here over the player that says draw text. I'm just gonna change it and add a lot more exclamation marks. Here we go. I hit save. And now I pull this back up and you can see it immediately added it in. This is super helpful just so you don't have to recompile every time you make a little change, especially with your UI, uh, things like that. So I recommend it. It's very easy to get started as well. What it does is it gives you this little server and yeah, totally worth it. So check out GM Live by Yellow Afterlife. The next one that you've kind of already seen here is called Scribble and Scribble Jr., both by Juju Adams. Scribble is a super robust text renderer for Game Maker. And what it does is it just gives you a lot of options that you don't have in the default text renderer of Game Maker. And as simple as it sounds, what got me thinking about this is that we wanted to have one italicized word in a sentence, but you can't do that easily in the, the default Game Maker. So just to give you an example in the code, just for one line of dialogue, draw text, um, you have to use all the di these different lines of code to get what you want. With Scribble, you can build all of it into one function. So here we have the location, the coordinates, and then we have all kinds of different, you know, whatever we want to customize it, the color, the font. I've also shown off, you can have animations of the text. So there's, this is just scratching the surface of what Scribble can do, but let's say you want to add a shake. So on top of the player, you can see the default and on the bottom, you can see the text with the shake. It's really awesome. There's so much you can do with Scribble. It's totally free. And Scribble Jr. is very similar. It's by the same guy, but it's just a more lightweight renderer. So um, there's a video that dives into this. If you are calling a whole ton of lines. Scribble Jr. can just go faster and it's very useful for things like uh, UI. So that is Scribble. It's wonderful, definitely recommend it. And now we are moving on to our last one. And this one I'm the most excited to talk about. This is Crystal 2D Lighting Engine by 
uh, Foxy of Jungle. So this thing is amazing. It's very robust. It's $59. I know, again, that's that can be a lot of money, but I, you've already seen um, just how awesome this thing is. It's pretty easy to implement. And look at how powerful that is. We have a day-night cycle going on. Uh, I have a little bit of light emanating from the player character. Uh, we have our we have blue fear with his fire hair, and we've got a lamp. And it, you can just see how beautiful the lighting is. So this is the crystal lighting engine. It's the best light engine that I have found for Game Maker. And uh, let me just show you a couple examples in here. It comes with these prefabs that you can just make parent objects of things. And yeah, it's really easy to use all kinds of different options and the variables here. So those are four Game Maker extensions that we think are totally worth checking out. Whether you're starting a new project or deep into development, these extensions and asset packages can help you save tons of time, avoid reinventing the wheel and make your game truly shine. If you've got a favorite extension that we didn't mention, let us know in the comments. We'd love to check it out and I'm sure it'd help other people. And if you found our video helpful, hit the like button and the subscribe button for more Game Maker tips and behind the scenes from our indie game journey as well as development updates. It really makes a big difference for a small channel like ours as we're getting started and we would love to have you along the ride with us as we continue. Thanks so much for watching Whale Stack and we'll see you next time.